Hey, what is going on guys over on the Carnage Clan channel? My name is Erbo and today I'm bringing you guys another class setup. Today's class setup is going to be on the BAL 27. Now we uploaded a class setup already on this weapon, but it was for the pre-patch version and they kind of nerfed it a little bit. They added in some recoil and some other things like that. So this new class setup is going to target those changes and make the gun as best as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So of course the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and throw on the BAL because like I said this is a BAL class setup but if you guys have any elite variations of the weapon definitely go ahead and throw those on. I personally love the obsidian steed it kills in three bullets so if you have that one definitely throw that on. So now that we have the gun chosen now we need to choose our attachments. We're actually going to put on three different attachments one is going to be stock. Now stock will just help with the mobility of the weapon and let you guys compete with SMGs a lot easier. You know advanced warfare is really fast paced and you need to be able to compete with those SMGs in close quarter situations so stock really helped with that. Now we're also going to throw on foregrip because foregrip will help with the changes that they made with adding recoil into the weapon so that'll just kind of get it back to normal and let you get a lot more kills at longer range and different distances like that and now we're also going to put on extended mags now extended mags is key because it gives you more ammo and it gives you more ammo in a clip so that will really help out especially when you're going on long dna bomb streaks you never want to run out of ammo or reload all the time because that will just end up getting you killed so that's why we have extended mags on Okay, so now that we have attachments out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the perks. The first perk we're going to use is Low Profile. Now, Low Profile keeps you guys invisible to UAVs, tracking rounds, and exo ping, along with a couple other tracking attachments, which could always be annoying and could end up getting you killed. And now we're also going to put on Peripherals as the second perk. Now, Peripherals will make the minimap a lot bigger and help with map awareness. And you can pretty much see people shooting on the minimap from anywhere with Peripherals. It gets so big and it is awesome. So now on to the third perks. We're actually going to put on two different ones. So you're going to need to go ahead and slap on a wild card for that. But the perks are going to be Blast Suppressor and Scavenger. Now Scavenger with the extended mags is going to be amazing. You're not going to have to reload too much and you're always going to have ammo because you're going to be able to resupply from all kinds of different dead bodies. So you're never going to have to pick up somebody else's weapon or a gun that you're not used to, which could end up getting you killed. And then with Blast Suppressor, that will just keep you guys off the radar when you're using your exo abilities, such as like exo boost and double jumping and things like that, um, which goes really well with low profile. It kind of keeps you guys more stealthy and lets you get your DNA bombs a lot easier or any of the kill streaks that you may be going for. So that's pretty much the core of the class setup finished now i left a couple spots empty so you guys can go ahead and experiment a little bit um, but if you guys want to use some kill streaks maybe some non-lethals i would suggest putting on uav and system hack you could upgrade those things and just get them all the time and the other team is pretty much system hacked 100 of the time and it makes it really easy um, so that's always a good route to go um, but if you guys want to use lethals then you know just go ahead and experiment with that um, another good thing to put on is exo overclock to keep you guys a little bit faster again you're able to compete with smgs a little bit more since you have an ar and your speed is going to be increased with that exo ability um, and also a good thing to put on is stun so just go ahead and experiment with that depends on what you're really going for but that's the core of the class setup this should make your bal a lot better and this is just a really good perk setup for any type of playstyle. so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this helps you out if you guys want more tips or tricks or any more class setups definitely go check my link out down in the description below i upload all the time and a lot of different content so i think you guys will really enjoy my channel hopefully i see you guys over there thanks for watching